Now, speaking of time, we are going to get to speed taking, which we never do quickly, but we always enjoy. This is our final segment for the show. All right, a little bit shorter. We don't have Michael the Yapper here today. Um, no interview as well. So we'll, we'll uh, but we we should be back on track next week. Uh, maybe we'll have a special guest after um, after week three uh, of Shift Summer League. Well, let's just go straight in order. This is our first take from OJ888. And yeah. we have to give this to you because I cannot answer this. Club football oh. is better than national football. I don't, I, I don't watch football that much either. <laughs> So sorry, OJ. I, I we talk a lot about sports in uh, Shift Discord. OJ and, and I, um, he has very strong opinions on it. Yeah. Uh, for me, I watch more national teams mm -hmm. play football because then I feel like everyone is talking about it. Right? Sure, it's this sure. event yeah, yeah. when there's yeah. a European Championship or, or World Championship, and then it becomes more interesting for me to follow along. Right. Uh, like it's it's not so bad to watch, but I, I wouldn't really go out of my way to watch the Premier League or La Liga or whatever. So I'm not that interested in club football because I don't follow a club. I think sure. that's the main part. Everyone yeah. has a nationality. Everyone uh, is part of like a following of a national team. Even if I if they don't watch a match, uh, they they hear the cars coming by, you know. Dude, okay. <laughs> dude, through the yeah, streets, yeah. especially when Turkey wins, um, but also when the national team uh, right. is winning. So it's a different experience for me, but I can imagine that if you are actually a fan of a club, that changes everything. Yeah. Um, because then you, you are experiencing football so differently. You're experiencing the competition completely differently. But in terms of just the, um, I, I, I'm going to say yes, club football is better than national football because of oh. course it is. Those players are always training with their team. They are bought for millions to play for that team. Yeah, They are just called in to play for this national team for a couple matches and then they're back to their club. So obviously they are way more accustomed to playing with their team and that is going to bring better football. Okay, fair enough. Throw me, uh, throw me a one. I will throw you a take from Mithalian, uh, whose okay. name I think is slightly misspelled right here. Um, it is, but uh, that's, uh, that's fine. He's used to it. Um, Mithalian says, Mark Bayet is the best player to have never made worlds. He was close. That sounds right. I mean, uh, there's an abundance of players that never made Worlds, and I'm sure some of them are good, but Mark has definitely achieved a ton as an individual and, and as a part of BDS, and of course was, you know, technically a part of the roster. Yeah, technically, but, but I not think, really. I think it's fair to say Mark is the best player to never make Worlds. I think that is fair to say. Um, I can't think of... I can't think of anyone that has achieved... I mean, he's a major winner. I can't think of anyone that has achieved that much that has unfortunately not been able to attend, at least attend yeah. Worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, I like that take. I think that's, uh, I think that's probably accurate. Uh, we got one here from Fear, not F-E-E-R, not Show Match Fear. This is... The German this, Fear. This is like regular Fear, like I'm scared, F-E-A-R. <laughs> and here's what they say. Yins is uh, uh, the perfect person to ask this question. Okay. <laughs> I am. It's true. Champion is the most frustrating rank in Rocket League. See, I don't agree. I don't really okay. encounter that much toxicity. Really? Yeah. I, I, maybe. I don't know. I, a, I don't know. Of course it happens. but Sure, of course. I have a theory about rank. Yeah. The threes are the worst. Oh, is Flat that three, it? Do I play too much three, twos? Champ three. And here's why. It's because you're on the cusp of achieving Oh, you mean the rank? Great. And not three to three, but right. the three ranks. Okay. Diamond three, plat three, et cetera. Because yeah, you're on the yeah. cusp of achieving what you want. So right. you're, just, you know, you're, all, you're on edge. Or you just lost it and you're on edge. 
Oh, that makes um, sense. And I think that, and this could just be hard cope, but I think that is also an area that is typically populated with like boosting and smurfing because you're so close to like a platinum one may not reach out for a booster, but a platinum three is like, Ooh, I might could get my friend to hop on yeah. and pop me up to the next. So I think that's my theory. Threes, platinum three, diamond three, champ three. I think that those are the worst. That does make a little sense. Yeah. The most sweaty I have played was in champion three. There it right is. Right now I'm, I'm champ two um, and have been for years. Uh, I peaked at grand champ, but didn't stay in for very long. Uh, it really depends on what time of day as well i big agree uh i usually play pretty late at night mm -hmm. which is really a mixed bag yeah. sometimes people are just at the end of their wits and at the end of their day <laughs> yeah. at the end of their wits as well seven hour uh, session you know the most wholesome games i have ever played in my life morning are not ranked but unranked lobbies at 4 a.m oh okay that is peak Peak wholesomeness is nice. unranked at 4 a.m. Okay, I'll, okay? I'll keep that because in mind. All the late nighters are already gone to bed because it's sure. too late for like staying up that late. Like yeah. you're playing either with people who are just working night shifts or who are just insomniacs or whatever, but they're just there to chill because it's unranked. Again, ranked does not work with this, but yeah. you just stick around in an unranked lobby and you play like five, six, seven games with these guys, and they're your best friends for the evening. <laughs> that's You'll nice. never okay. see them again afterwards, but that's sure. peak wholesomeness is unranked in the middle of the night. Well, there but you go, I folks. Can see, I can see three people in the Twitch chat saying Diamond is the most toxic rank. I, which... I also think Diamond is a fair shout Yeah, because of where it lands player distribution-wise. Yes, I was about to bring that up. Yeah. Because it, yeah. it is this rank where you are better than average, but right. there's still a lot of people playing mm -hmm. in that rank. Like you still have a huge player base in Diamond. Yep. So by just in terms of numbers, I think I've brought this up for toxic fan bases as well. Like the bigger the fan base, the higher the chance that some people That's are right. just going to be assholes. Mm -hmm. The same happens with Diamond. You still have this huge, you know, population playing in Diamond. Uh, and also, of course, there's more players in, in gold and plats. But, but by maybe diamond, not you're as, invested too. Exactly. They're not trying mm -hmm. hard as much as the diamonds. So yeah. I can totally see diamond being the most toxic. But I don't think champ is that bad. Yeah. I really don't. I think that's fair. All right. From Colt, who says, Utopia Coliseum is the worst standard map in the game. Okay. My answer is no. But I do have a question. So. Standard map just means like the regular shape. Or do they mean like your standard RLCS maps? Because I'm going to say this. Forbidden Temple, Fire and Ice. Horrendous. It's the worst. Oh, it's yeah. the worst. It yeah, actually, yeah. when I look at my screen, my eyes sincerely hurt. It causes pain to my eyes. It is I mean, so <laughs> horrendous. Neon Fields is absolutely worse than that, but it is it is bottom tier for sure. Neon Fields is not worse. It is. Fire and Ice is so, so bad. No, if you're no. looking at the blue side, you're okay. <laughs> if you're looking at the red side, you, just, you, you need sunglasses. It's the worst. I hate that field, but I don't know if those count. I don't know if those count. You know what I mean? I don't know if they're talking about like Beckwith, man, you know, man, I don't know if they mean like the most standard. Uh, but I'll say this. I mean, I think Utopia Coliseum is a great map. Yeah, I think I like it's a it. fun one. So I don't, I don't, I don't have any qualms. I don't see, it. I don't see the what what they have uh, against yeah. it. But uh, I agree. Oh, I was playing in a league with friends, um, and we made it to the semifinals. Okay. Lost completely, just completely fell apart in the semifinals. But we, um, we. Our games were streamed by just a friend of ours. It, this is all just between friends, so there's yeah. not actually that much competition going on. It's also like random made teams at the start of the league where you have one of the best uh, third, one of the middle third, and one of the lowest third, and I'm yeah, in the right. middle third. So everyone has a tier one player who is always going for cringe ad rebels. Uh, <laughs> but this game was streamed by someone who isn't very familiar with how we usually stream those games, and he picked that cursed 
fields that you were talking about. Oh no. The, and, and I mean, you can do that in the group stage. Okay. We, we, we love to troll. We love to just play for fun. But in the semifinals, come on. Come on. <laughs> that was not okay. Get this trash off my screen. Unbelievable. All right. All right throw, throw one at me. Uh, oh, no, that was mine. No, I, I just did. Yeah. Okay, you need one. All right, this is from Pyro. Uh, Rocket League needs to bring back Monster Cat songs. Uh, needs to bring Monster Cat songs back to the RLCS. Were you mm. a fan of the Monster Cat stuff? Some. Uh, it's not... Yeah like the regular music I listen to, although I have gotten more into electronic adjacent genres like Indie Tronica, mm -hmm. which is like a mix of like classic indie pop music, indie rock and electronic music. Yeah. Um, I listen to uh, Electro Swing. So that's kind of electronic music too. And, and that's kind of what Monster Cat is, right? But it's more like the drum and bass or not like drum and bass, but what do you call that? What's Monster Cat? What genre is that? Oh, I... I would have no clue. It's something electronic, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, there are some banger songs. Um, electro pop, dubstep. I yeah, that's, I would call everything dubstep, or I would just say, oh, it's like Skrillex. Right. That's well, how ignorant yeah. I am. But that, mm, I don't think the Monster Cat songs are like that, though. I agree. They're not. <laughs> I just so, don't know how to describe it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I, I, I didn't mind them. I think it was a, an addition that was loved by a lot of people. I would even say most. Um, so I think, yes, they do. Because it was just, I think, a very win-win partnership. Because you have the, the music in the game as well. I think that's m much more important than bringing it to RLCS. Uh, it's just like having that in the game, having those albums. I know two people who have bought the, uh, the vinyl for it. So... Oh really? Uh, obviously, it, it works. I mean, the album cover is kind of kind of sick because it has like an octane boosting up into the skies in like these pastel colors, or like not really pastel, but it it looks sick. So, yeah, I think they should bring that back. I have the music very low and have my main ga main game sound at like fifteen. Uh, yeah. So when I it's not PC, that I listen to it that much, but uh, when I moved to PC, I turned off all game game music. Oh right. All right, I have one last one for you. Okay, let's hear it. From GC, who says the Cybertruck is the worst car to have ever been added to Rocket League. No. <gasps> no? No. I don't like it. It's Explain too long yourself. for the hitbox. I know there's other reasons that other people don't like it. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's a car that has had a, held a special place in my heart, uh, and it's been a, a hatred-filled place. <laughs> whenever I was, uh, whenever I was newer to the game, I used to, and I'm, I'm at. This is embarrassing to mention, but I'm actually serious. I used to get tilted by seeing this car. Uh -huh. I was much younger. Um, it just is. It's an ugly car. Much younger, twenty six. Um, well, I mean, I've been playing almost a decade, so you know, when I, I picked joking. it up, I was like 23, on, 24. Um, so the, the, the car is the X-Devil. Oh. I freaking hate that car. It looks like a little like dung beetle or something. <laughs> it just looks ugly. It looks heavy. It's a stupid car. If you use it, I'm not your friend. I don't like it. X-Devil, by far the worst car in the game. I mean, the actual dung beetle is the scarab. Yeah, scarab's bad too, but it's got some. It's got some character. Like there, it does. there's it does. some people. It's a ball. You know, some people like it. It's cute, whatever. X Devil, no redeeming qualities. All bad. Mm. I hate I it. I can see that. I can. It's see It's actually. That. It's kind of got me pissed off right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry for bringing it up. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. I just think the whole. What would be your worst story? I think it, it might be the Cybertruck. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I definitely the, get it. I get the it. Whole, the whole car and, and everything it stands for. Sure. I think that, that comes into account as well. Sure. I just, I'll, I'll, I'll say I definitely get all of that, but this is the first time that I can remember in a long time where they have had some sort of collaboration and it's free. 
That is true. I mean, that's crazy. I think, I think, I hope they had this internal meeting. Like, how much can we ask for this car? And there were so many developers so against. <laughs> Nobody's buying it. <laughs> inviting. Yeah. That they are like, yeah, like, we know people are going to hate this if we're going to charge money for it. Um, oh, that's actually funny. That could I, be true. I think that, that's how it, how it happens. How that could be true. It's free. But also, it would have a redeeming quality if it was when it was announced. People were like, oh my God, it's such a square car. Mm -hmm. it, it's going to be a perfect hitbox fit. Hitbox fit. And it doesn't at it's all. Not, not even not close. Not even mm -hmm. close. Not uh, even close. They're, like I mean, a third of the car at it the could back. could have saved it. A third. Yeah. You, so you could go into the field and, and like you jump and then you like land on the back of the car or the nose of the car, right? If you do yeah. the back of the car, I'm not kidding. Like a third of the car just sinks into the ground. Oh, yeah. It does not match the hitbox at all. I mean, you can use a back small plugin as well to show where the yes. actual hitbox is. Or you could just look it up on Twitter or YouTube. And it's... It's a hybrid hitbox, so it, people it, already hate it. Yeah, but and it hangs out the front so and bad. the back. Oh yeah, it it's just off. It's just yeah, not even like too long or too short or too wide. It's just off. It's just bad. So it's bad in game. Everything it stands for <laughs> is awful. Yeah, no, I think this is. I mean, it's GC, so it's a kind of a uh, upvote farming take. But for <laughs> once, you know, it's, it's just. Take. It has to. Well, I'm glad that I, I, I hope it was clipped, and I hope that I can push my ex devil hate agenda. <laughs> That's what I hope. Yeah. Well, my take is the Cybertruck is, is fine. Um, ex devil, not fine. I don't want to see it.